There is always a small chance that that, that, could, that could occur. Um, we do know that it is going to encounter some wind shear, but like I, like I said before, uh, we do not expect that wind shear to be strong enough uh, to bring it down to that, that level. Um, from what I have seen in terms of the projected path, it will not come near enough to Hispaniola for it to have a significant impact on the system. And Jamaica is relatively small, so to speak, and the system will be moving south of Jamaica according to the forecast. So we do not anticipate um, terrain to have a significant impact on the weakening of the storm. Um, again, that forecasted weakening has more to do with the projected increase in vertical wind shear. In terms of the cutoff time, I was very subjective, I'll be honest with you. Um, we are looking at additional information. Uh, what I would, w or what I usually do, is look at at least four consecutive model runs, and if they are consistent in their forecasts, then we would tend to be more confident that that forecast is going to materialize. So when I use 3 p.m., I'm already doing the math in my head that if I see four more consecutive updates coming out, and it's showing me specifically that, then of course, we believe that the models are converging on that solution, and that's what's going to happen.